Ah yes, driving through the countryside. Windows down, music, nice and loud. Just another road trip. You see a bunch of cows out the window. One of them really stands out. Literally. The other cows look like black and white hamsters. The Guinness World Record for tallest cow ever goes to this cow named Blossom. This big grass guzzler was six foot four. <laughs> Somebody better buy that cow some basketball shoes. The average cow's only four foot five. Blossom must have felt like a giant. When you're that tall, you don't just hang around in a field eating grass. Blossom was the official greeter for a local resort. Big Jake. And believe me, big is an understatement. This guy got famous for being the world's tallest horse. Checking in at a whopping 6 foot 11, we're gonna need a whole lot of basketball shoes. What a stud, which actually pretty much just means male horse, so... Now what about this little cutie? The world's shortest female horse. Her name is Thumbelina. What a perfect name. And she's only about 1 foot 5. That didn't stop her from going viral though. Oh, and the shortest male horse is called Bomble. It means bubble in Polish. He's only two feet tall, but his heart is larger than life. So, so cute and shorter than a greyhound. Now, I'm a full-out dog person. Well, regular-sized dog person. Zeus, a Great Dane, was officially the world's tallest dog. Being three foot eight on all fours made you think you were looking at a small horse. Imagine that face waking you up in the morning. And what about taking him out for a walk? You'd have needed a pretty strong leash. According to his owners, he was a gentle giant and was usually laid back, luckily. And Zeus had a really important job. He was a certified therapy dog, spreading his love and joy to all in need. Imagine a dog like that. You wouldn't need to put out a water bowl every day. He could just drink straight out of the tap. Hugging would be on a whole different level, too. How much do you think that guy ate? Would he have even fit on your bed? So many questions. Now what if you're a cat person? You'd better prepare yourself. Ha! Get it? Anyway, this cool cat over here has been called the world's longest domesticated cat. His name's Baravel, which means clown, and he comes from a small town in Italy. He's a gentle giant too, which is good because he's longer than a baseball bat. When they see a photo, people usually think he's been photoshopped. He enjoys basking in the sun by the window, staring out into the backyard. Hunting mice must feel like chasing ants to him. The previous title holders were called Ludo and Stewie, the same breed as Baravel. That's a lot of cat fur on my mom's new sofa. Sheesh. Hopping up next is a rabbit named Darius. His long ears and cute button nose aren't why he's special. A regular rabbit's about 14 inches, but Darius here, just over 50. That's basically a rabbit dog. Darius grew up on a farm in England, and living out in an open field gave him a super chill personality. Feeding him must be tough though. Darius must be a carrot-eating machine. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. Enough of the cute stuff. Time for some more exotic animals. Maybe even mythical ones. Myths are just how people explain crazy things. Like the legend of the white-lipped man. That turned out to be just me eating cheesecake. Quick and shifty under the water, able to bring down an entire ship. The Kraken was famous for disappearing ships. That's what the legends say. Probably just a sailor's tale told to scare the new recruits but researchers may have found its baby brother. The largest ever recorded squid was almost 60 feet long, but the researchers forgot to video it. Huh, no. The largest squid ever caught on camera was about 25 feet. That's like an RV. Scientists think there might be larger ones out there, but they're kind of camera shy. The great white shark, frightening ocean animals left and right. She's called the queen of the ocean. She's not one of those kind and gentle queens, oh no. Scientists were able to tag her to study her more. This queen weighs about 3,500 pounds. That's like six motorbikes or 14,000 hot dogs. She was caught in the waters off Nova Scotia by a team of terrified researchers. 
good thing sharks only chill in the ocean. Unless... What about an episode of Shark Ninja Warriors? That was the biggest. Now, the longest. Good guess, but nope. Definitely not a snake. But it is as long as half a football field. This animal was discovered in the deep waters off Australia. They found it there, glowing. And get this, scientists say it isn't even a single creature. It just acts like one. It's actually a whole colony, cloning and multiplying until it gets… even bigger? Its technical name… um… This next animal can move on land and water. Don't be fooled by its short scrawny legs. A crocodile can run as fast as a human on land. So if you're running a lap against these sprinters, try to climb up a tree as high as you can. Crocs can't climb trees, but you'd better believe they'll be waiting for you when you get down. They're also the heaviest reptiles in the world. An adult can weigh about the same as two small cars. The largest one in captivity was a saltwater croc in the Philippines. Lolong was his name, and he was 20 feet long. That's like two ping pong tables end to end with a whole bunch of teeth. Slithering up next, another reptile. A beast of a serpent from Malaysia. Some workers were on break at a construction site on a hot day. They noticed something. Was it a large pipe? Well, this time it was a snake. They pulled out the longest python ever captured. It took more than five men to carry it out of the construction site without harming it or themselves. The beast was 26 feet long and weighed around 550 pounds. That's only a bit shorter than a light post. The previous record for the longest snake in captivity was the famous Medusa, also a python. That kind of snake can eat its whole weight for lunch. That's like me eating 280 burgers. I definitely don't want fries with that. Back to the water. Behold! The heaviest blue catfish ever caught! The Andersons bagged this guy in Virginia back in 2011, and they've been bragging about it ever since. Weighing in at a whopping 143 pounds, that's like fishing a washing machine out of the lake while standing on a small boat. That's why it took both father and son to drag it on deck. Honorable mention goes to the largest living cat in the world. Nope, it's not a lion or a tiger, but a little bit of both. It's a liger. Ligers don't exist out in nature, since lions and tigers live in totally different parts of the world. Than wildlife parks, it's been done. Hercules holds this particular record. At over 900 pounds, he's the biggest carnivore mammal in the whole world. He's got his length from his mom, a tiger, and his weight from his dad, a lion called Arthur. Want to know what it's called when the mom is a lion and the dad's a tiger? A tigan. They're way less common than ligers, but they're just as bizarre. That sort of sounds like the ancient Greek mythical creature, the chimera. It was part lion, part goat, part snake, and some stories say it even had bat wings. Oh, and it breathed fire, too. You'd need to bring in a whole bunch of Spartan firefighters to take care of that thing. But it probably hosts a sweet barbecue party. So what about us humans? The award goes to Robert Wadlow from Illinois. He was a staggering 8 foot 11 inches, and he could pick up his dad when he was just 9 years old. Just let that sink in for a while. He ate over 8,000 calories a day, and his shoe size was 37 AA. 